Uh, my name's Kat. I'm a developer at the DTO, which stands for Digital Transformation Office. We're based here in Sydney. I'm here to talk to you tonight about one of the hardest problems in tech. It's not off by one errors or naming things. It's diversity. Um, so most of the statistics I'm quoting tonight are actually from the US, and I'll tell you about that later. Um, so in the CS, we've got about 26% women, but there are 50% of women participating in the professional workforce. So I'm wondering why there are only 26% in technology, and then only 6% in technical leadership. You'd think that most of the major companies throughout the world would have better, um, better ratios of male to female. But the majority of them fall below the average. <laughs> so it's not just a problem that women aren't getting into tech. A recent Harvard study actually showed that women are leaving tech at a rate of about 50%. And these aren't leaving for family reasons, they're leaving for other professions. And this is due to statistics that Elephant in the Valley has come up with, such as 60% of women in tech reporting unwanted sexual advances. In Australia, tech has the second highest pay gap of any industry at 30.1%. That just falls short of finance, which is at 305 Issues that women in tech face <coughs> come from Hollywood, they come from marketing, they come from all different places. Um, it's the way that we sort of teach our kids gender as well. Um, this is one of my favorite gifts for the, from The Simpsons. <laughs> so what can you do to help? Well, there are uh, so many great organizations that would benefit from, from your help, from you tweeting about them, from tutorials, from volunteering, from donating money, um, just anything you can do to help so many of these great organizations. I know Rails Girls, Women Who Code, and Girl Geek Dinners all have branches here in Sydney. Um, and there's so many, you know, whether you're from Brazil or the US, there's so many other great initiatives that are taking place. The American Bureau of Statistics estimates that there'll be one million new jobs in computer science by 2024, and in Australia we're expecting similar results. If we look back at this statistic of 26 to 74%, if we increase that, we increase the talent pool by 300,000. We also found that companies that have more diverse teams will increase their revenue by 41%. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of the statistics I've been quoting relate to the US job market. That's because we have very, very few statistics on Australia. I'm trying to change this by partnering with the survey that I mentioned earlier, um, Elephant in the Valley, and that was developed by Stanford University. I've taken their survey in cooperation with them and created the Elephant Down Under to create statistics about why we have so few women in Australia in technology. Um, I'd really appreciate it if there are any women here who would like to contribute, um, if they'd like to go to the survey, that's the URL. Anyone else who's inter interested in diversity, if you could tweet it, spread the word. Um, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm at Jones Zero on Twitter, hashtag debugging diversity, or you can come grab me after the presentation. Thanks. It's time to stand up, stretch your legs.